Welcome back everyone. You know how I posted this game? Well, the developer got a hold of me and said that that was the old version and it had a whole bunch of horrible sh crap, ho horrible bugs with it. So, I'm playing the new version to see if it's better. Anyways, let's get into this. I still sound sick because I have the flu. If I'm not better by mon- by in uh... In three, two days, I will be going to the hospital, so wish me luck. Anyways, let's get into this. Welcome back, everyone. We're into the game. Oh my, you had luck of the seas to throw you onto my island. My name is White Mustachy. Welcome to the Coco Island, the paradise for lost pirates like us. This is home sweet home. Oh, and if you need anything, Villa de Concha is nearby. A picturesque village where the inhabitants are always welcoming as the rays of the morning sun. I see you carry a notebook with you. How about I offer you gifts and some tips from this old pirate? To yes. Tools in hand, survivor. Sailor, this magical book teaches you the axe trick. Read it and then open your notebook. And don't forget, bring 12 logs of wood when you're ready. Learn. Okay. The, the, the language thing is an issue. Still. Do I need to go in here, click on this, and I need wood and a rock. Okay. Is, is this the log? Okay, that's the log and that's the rock. Okay. Uh, craft. I now have a rock. Do, okay, you can't cut the palm trees probably. How do I... Okay, I remember why this game was annoying. Three. <sighs> so far this is not great. Language is still just a problem on this game for me because I have it set to English, but a whole bunch of it is still in Portuguese, which is not great. But now that I have 12 logs, I can go talk to the kind old pirate. Yeah. <clears throat> Blanco Mustachio or whatever. You're faster than a kite at the top of a flagpole. Let's take a look at those trunks. I see you managed to gather 12 cr trunks with the axe. Very good. As a reward, I will give you this book. He will teach you how to build a pickaxe. A vital tool for exploring the hidden secrets of the island. With luck and a little magic, you'll, be, you'll soon be smashing rocks like a real pirate. To build a pickaxe, you will need some stones. Here are a few to get you started. Together, you will forge a pickaxe powerful enough to unlock the mysteries of the island. Use the book I gave you and then look at your notebook and you will be able to create something great. I'm looking forward to seeing what comes. Uh, learn it. What does it take? A wood and a rock. 
I have a wood and a rock, so let's build it. Craft. Just just look, you did it. Here is a ward. Take this old pirate outfit. It may not be fashionable, but at least you won't be exposed to the eyes of shark. You're doing great with the tools now. How about a juicier task? I need crab meat. They're everywhere on the island's coast. Take a bow and some arrows and bring me a handful. It's a delicacy enjoyed by everyone. Good luck and may the crabs be in your favor. Okay, you have to right click to equip. Where'd my axe go? Oh, it's equipped. Well, now I have to equip this. So now I think I should go kill me some crabs. There's the crab. Okay. How many did I need? Five. Not going to kill a chameleon because why would I need to? Oh, you can move your visuals around. That's nice. So far, I'm having trouble finding a crab. I found one. Sorry about that. Had to cough. It says kill five crabs, and there's one crab on the freaking... Okay. There's flamingos. Let's see if I die cr crossing water. Oh, no, I can. Okay. Ah, uh, there's the crabs. Die. There's two. Three. Four. Five. Five. There we go. Hi, Sailor. Now that you have the precious crab, you need the secret recipe. Here it is. Now go to my cabin and find the old iron oven. Once you're there, open your notebook next to the oven and get ready to create a culinary masterpiece worthy of true gourmet pirate. The oven sometimes runs out of heat, a real cold. But relax, throw firewood on it, and voila, we're back in the heat. After all, even ovens have their lazy days, right? There's nothing that warms a pirate's heart like a good meal prepared with love and wisdom. Bring this delicacy from the seas soon so that we can enjoy the pleasant, the pleasures of good food together. Learn crab stew, probably. Okay, where's the cabin? Cabin's in here, apparently. I'm getting stardew, uh, not stardew, uh... I'm getting most farming sims. It's really nice, actually. Old iron stove. Oh. I need to go into my cookbook. Uh, food. There we go. No translation found for popcorn and craftable. Did I make it? No. What the? Where'd the stove go? Where'd the stove go? Like seriously, where'd the where'd the stove go? Where'd, where'd the stove go? Where the crap did the stove go? Uh... I'm sorry, what? What the crap? The stove disappeared. I 
I I'm sorry. The stove disappeared. Okay. Huh. I'll be right back real quick. Okay, welcome back. So, I came back and... I have to do that. Hopefully this works. It worked this time! The stove didn't disappear if there's not enough fuel in it. The aroma exudes as promising and my belly growls with anticipation. Get ready to taste this masterpiece of the seas that you created. Ah, wonderful. This crab dish is a true feast for the senses. The texture, the flavor, everything is perfect. I'm enjoying teaching you how to survive, but now I think it's time to learn how to plant. Come with me, I'll turn you into a farmer pirate. Who knows, we might even cultivate, cultivate buried treasure. Here are some coins. Now, how about going to the market and buying some potato seeds? You'll find some shops in the village of Concha, right next to the island. That's your, that, there you will find everything you need to start your journey into pirate farming. But be careful with the chatty drunks along the way. Don't spend your coins on rum before buying the seeds. They say that Shell Village <clears throat> came into being when a band of pilots, pirates got lost on the seeds, seas and decided to build a village. And don't forget the buried key. Use a shovel to unearth what's hidden in the depths of Coco Island. There may be forgotten, more forgotten treasure waiting for you. Oh, what's this? And this. I should reorganize my inventory first. Oh, I got coins. That goes down there, down there, over here, here, here. That can go there, and that can go there. I need water, right? Drink. There we go. Okay, what was my quest? This is the problem. Some things translate over to English, and some things in this game don't. Like the quests. I think I need to go buy 10 potato seeds, but <clears throat> I can't read this. I can't read this. So, okay. Oh, is it showing that there's an island over there I can get to eventually? Oh my gosh. A rocket? Okay, I don't like this fixed uh, visual. I can't move my angle now. <coughs> Why is the bread zero gold? So the bread's zero gold, but the chicken is 400 gold. I just got... So you can have unlimited food. Is this where I need to... Okay, it's not where I need to go. However, that chicken ship that crashed... Oh, probably this... weird chicken thing beep beep identifying organic presence please help me I have technical problems beep beep ah human thank you for coming to my rescue I have a critical problem inside it seems that our visitors our visitor is having difficulty adapting to the elements on display nav we need to gather some materials to facilitate adaptation could you bring me a bottle of water I need it to start analyzing the Okay, that's really nice of you. I need to analyze the elements in this region to ensure they are compatible with experiment 424, our special crew member. What does it take to make a bottle of water? A rock. 
Oh, do I have to go fill it with water? Let's see if I can fill it with salt water. Oh, I probably have to go back into town. Oh, it's not refilling my energy anymore. Okay. Do I have to come over here? Okay. Let me, I guess, go pause here and go fill it up at my thing. Welcome back, everyone. So we're in a little bit of a different spot. And I did have to go back to here to the, uh, that, uh, the well to fill up the pot. <coughs> also, pausing the game doesn't work. Going into your inventory does not pause the game. Also, I killed a chameleon. They do not... I already talked to this thing. I don't know why it's going over again. But oh well. Uh, for some reason, the chameleons, they drop chicken meat. Very confu... Was this where I had to go? <clears throat> Probably. But now I'm talking to the chicken, so... Let's go do that. So now that I have the bottle of water, which is a clay pot. <clears throat> I see you made it. Thank you very much for your dedication to help us. Now we can proceed with the analysis of the elements. Beep, beep. Thank you very much. Start the analyzing the elements. Analysis can based on the elements present we will need to gather some specific materials to solve this problem this damage seems more serious than I thought I'll need some time to fix everything but I need your help to take care of the special visitor I brought with me she is one of the few of her kind and needs to adapt to this world to ensure her safety I plan to place her in a special bubble the bubble is ready this way you will be able to adapt better to the environment She's not used to the oxygen of this world, so the bubble will be crucial to ensuring her health. Please take good care of her, human. Furthermore, Experiment 424 has an important but confidential mission, and its unique abilities make it valuable to our cause. Human, we found a, cavern, a cave nearby. I suspect that inside it there, is a, there may be a fundamental element for repairing the ship. Don't forget to take Experiment 424 with you. She will be of great help around the cave, being able to solve puzzles, find buried objects, and even protect you. So your next mission is to locate the cave, Emerald, a unique green stone, essential for ship repairs. Good luck in an exciting quest. Ah, you found the cave, Emerald. What? It looks like repairs to the ship will take some time. We will need to wait while the cave, Emerald, does it. I didn't find the cave, Emerald. I didn't even find a cave. Interesting. Analyzing the data from Experiment 424, I see that something unusual is happening. It seems like she is developing a kind of affection towards you. This is extraordinary. As your species, this behavior is almost impossible. Could I say, stay with Experiment 424 for a few more days? I'm sure she would be very happy to remain by your side while we finish repairs on the ship. Huh? What? What's my quest? Okay, I was supposed to get a cave emerald, and I somehow did? I don't know how. <coughs> That's not the place I need to be. That's not it. This isn't it. Is this the place with the e seeds? Yes, it is. 
Okay, let's go talk. We need potato seeds. I see you returning triumphant from Shell Village with potato seeds in hand. Now it's time to roll up our sleeves and plant those gems. But for that, you'll need a hoe. Here is a book with instructions on building it. May the potato replantation begin. And may our dishes become tastier than the treasures lost at sea. Potatoes are like us. They need water to thrive in the soil. Don't forget to shower them with care as they grow. A watering can is an excellent idea for taking care of potatoes. Go get one for my cabin right now. Okay. But I already have a hoe. Why can't I leave? There. Okay. But folks, this is going to be the end of the episode. This has been an episode of uh, Bubble Chicken Farm. Remember, like, comment, subscribe. Every little bit helps the channel grow. It's been nice being with you. See you later.